I am beyond excited about today's video. Uh, today we are going to review this Patrick Ta Major Headlines Blush Palette. Uh, this is already dirty, but this is how it looks like. I, if you've been here, um, for a little bit, you know how obsessed I am with his blushes, his duo blushes. I mean, I have used them so much. I Lately, I feel like I haven't used them quite as much just because I've been trying so many new products, but they are absolutely my top three blushes that I own. And I, I saw this and I couldn't, I, I was speechless. I was so excited and I'm so glad I finally have it. I feel like so many people got it so early and I, I tried to look it up. I called every Sephora and I have like six around me and nobody had it, but it finally arrived today and I'm so, so ready to play with it. So if you guys are interested, continue watching. If you're new here, do not forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this channel. And oh, let's try this on already. So this beautiful product has the same packaging as his eyeshadow palette, which I'm wearing today. I thought I should use everything that I have. Patrick Ta, I have his lips, I have his contour. I put very little contour. I have the light shade and it's, it's just a little light for me. I definitely need to pick up the medium one. And yeah, I have this eyeshadow palette. Um, but this is how it looks like. So it definitely has this section right here that kind of separates the cream from uh, the powder. And it looks, it looks very intense. I will not lie, I did um, watch some reviews because I was so excited. And these seem to not be as intense it seems to go on the cheek so much better um this is 58 dollars and i actually was surprised about the price i thought it would be more like 68 dollars um because you do get like three different colors six different actual blushes and i thought the price was pretty pretty good uh, i know it's less product than his other ones let me show you these. So these are the ones that I have from him. I have Do We Know Her and She's So LA. And She's So LA is my all-time favorite blush that I own. Uh, maybe. I feel like I say that about so many. But really, this is amazing. And then the other one is more of this peach color, which is absolutely beautiful. I wore this, oops, I wore this a lot in the summer. Um, but... I saw this shade right here and I was like, it kind of reminded me of this, but this is definitely, um, de it's deeper. This is more browny as this one seems to have more mauve almost undertone. Um, so they're definitely different. Okay, let's swatch it because I cannot wait. So I'm gonna take this one right here pink it's very very pink it's definitely more of that uh cool tone pink which i actually don't have many blushes like this because i usually just enjoy more of a warm or more of a brownie orangey tone so those are the two swatches this is the cream formula and this is the powder one they swatch really beautifully uh Next one, it's very intense. And I'm doing heavy swatches right now, but of course, on the cheek, you're not gonna put them quite as intense. So that is the middle one. That is beautiful as well. And then the one I'm most excited about. There you go, oh, that looks beautiful. Okay, so this is, a, she's a doll. Uh, she's vibrant, the middle one, which she is, and then she's baked, the last one. Oh, I'm so excited to play with these. Definitely, this is the most exciting. This is the most intriguing, just because I don't wear a lot of uh, that kind of blush, and this is just also exciting. Yeah, beautiful. 
So Patrick Ta actually suggests that you put the powder first and then with a sponge, put the cream on top. The powder will give the color and the dimension and then the cream will give the luminosity and the, that beautiful glow. Um, and what I'm going to do, because I'm so excited about this, I'm going to do powder first and blood uh, the and cream on top of that on this side and then on this side I will do the cream first and powder um, just because I'm just curious to see the different sides like I've definitely used his products for a long time now but I don't think I've ever done comparison side to side with the application all right so let's start with this one right here it picks up a lot and I'm going to actually take a little bit off because I'm scared I will be so pink. And then I'm going to apply it here. So this pink is actually not as like just baby pink as in here, which I'm glad because this intimidated me just a little bit. On the cheek, it goes on so nicely. I'm actually going to put a little bit more right here just to see how that looks. I'm trying to intensify it. That way it really shows up on camera. But beautiful it blends in so easily oh, i just love this formula so so much so this is the powder what i'm gonna do is take my foundation brush i feel like i brought it in just a little bit too much and blend in that edge that's really pretty um next i'm gonna go with the cream one on this side and then we are going to layer them so I'm going to take the butt of my beauty blender, pick some up, and then close this, and then apply it with a beauty blender. It keeps closing on me. That is definitely more like baby pink. Um, is this baby pink just like Barbie pink, I guess? But, oh, so pretty. Look at that finish. I just, I love, love his blushes. I'm going to build it up a little bit more. So this is the cream. Beautiful. You can kind of see that glow. And then this is the powder. It's definitely a little bit more matte. Uh, it still has a slight glow to it. It's just a beautiful finish. These are not shimmery at all, but they sit so nicely on the skin. I'm just, oh, I'm loving them. Let's take the cream and put it on top of the powder on this side. That really makes that pink pop and very intense. Bring it a little bit here. That is so pretty. Oh, he does such a good job. I'm so excited. So this side has the cream on top and it is just beautiful. Uh, it definitely has a sheen to it. There's no actual glitter. It's just the texture of the cream blush that makes it just luminous. So, so beautiful. I'm, I'm loving this. And this is the cream by itself. Uh, and you can definitely see if you build them up, they get pretty intense. So let's take a little bit of powder and put that here.
so this is the powder on top and this is the cream on top and they both have like a slight luminosity the cream definitely has more than the powder i would say the powder is just overall a little bit i have an itch <laughs> um just a little bit smoother but this has more luminosity to it and i think i prefer the cream on top i just love um, the effect that it gives obviously i'm super pink right now but um I think this way you guys can really see the difference in how it looks on the skin. So, so pretty. So this is She's a Doll. Again, cream on top and then the powder on top. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So we're gonna go in with this one right here. I'm actually using the Wayne Goss number 14 just because this is so bright. I feel like it's gonna make me look like a, um, just a little bit of a clown. So I'm picking that up, swishing here, and just gonna apply it here slowly. Oh, you know, this color reminds me a little bit of the tom ford explicit flush dior just the brighter one because it's almost a corally shade so that is so stunning as you can see you can definitely work with it it doesn't have to be like uh, that intense on your cheeks it can be a wash of color and i know once i put it with a beauty blender i will you know make it a little bit brighter so that is just the powder and i think it's beautiful i love this undertone it also kind of reminds me of the pat mcgrath one the let me look it up the electric bloom this one right here let me see yeah it has the similar tone and even with this one i think if i just go soft i can definitely work it and it looks beautiful and this is the tom ford one that it kind of reminded me of uh, no not really let me swatch it i wonder if swatching it no not even close <laughs> like this is so intense and that's the tom ford never mind okay what a fail okay moving on to the cream part i take it on the beauty blender although i usually use it with my fingers but this is what they say to do so i'm just slowly building it up here i don't have any highlighter or anything on um i had a little bit of contour but I kind of wiped it all off. It's beautiful. I'm actually gonna take my finger. I'm just such a finger person that that's how I like to apply cream blushes. This is so beautiful, so soft. Again, you have that radiance to it and it's it's just stunning so this is the powder one and this is the cream one now let's layer them i am going to take i guess i guess the beauty blender so let's layer this over the powder that's very intense which you know we were expecting that is stunning now, I don't love it with this eye look. I'm very browny with my eyes today, but it's, it's beautiful. It's just such a fresh shade. I'm just cleaning the edges. Um, this probably has a tiny bit of foundation left on it. And that is the cream and the powder and oh, I just love it so much. Okay, let's take the powder one 
definitely wipe it off look at that and i'm going to place it on top of the powder wait the cream okay so this is the powder on top and this is the cream on top and i i prefer the cream on top um i just think somehow it melts in the powder and it's just more melted into the skin and i think this this is beautiful it's usually just a little bit brighter um because you have that powder that's really bright and then the cream i'll just show you it's just it's bright but it blends into the skin so much easier than like the powder that is um that's gonna stay bright see the difference this is much more vibrant and this looks just a little bit more melted into the skin so that's why i do like um using it the way patrick ta says to use it and i don't know what he does it's like magic that you can do that with this formula it looks it looks so so good i'm just loving it so this is the powder and this is the cream on top of the powder And you can definitely build this up, but ugh, loving it, loving it so much. So this is called She's Vibrant and she sure is. Um, I really like that these colors can be worn with deeper skin tones because they are so vibrant. Many times if the uh, blushes are just too sheer or they don't, they're pigmented, you know, deeper skin tones cannot wear them because they won't show up, but lighter skin tones can just use a wash of the color. Uh, we can definitely tone it down. So I really like the versatility so far of these because I think anybody, anybody can use them because they are so vibrant. So this is stunning. I love it. Um, let me take this off and go to my probably favorite shade all right let's move on to um, this one and i'm so excited you have no idea um okay i cleaned my brush and i picked a lot up apparently i'm gonna take it on my hand oh that undertone and that de mm, i'm so excited okay so let's add it here i'm using the um, what am I using? The NARS, this one right here. This is the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I didn't want a full coverage, but I wanted to have coverage to be able to see the blushes in all their glory. Oh. Okay, I, I know I'm so dramatic right now, but I am so excited. Um, this, this is what I've been waiting for. I definitely left the best for last. Not in formula, just in color, just for me. This is, this screams my name. I could not love this shade more. It is fantastic. Isn't that just so beautiful? I'm trying to show you and look at the same time because it's so pretty. It has a, a sheen to it. There's no actual glitter. I don't know how he does it. I truly don't know. Um, let's take the powder right here. And the powder seems a little bit more mauve-y. Um, see? It's like these match pretty perfectly. But this one seems to be a bit more mauve-y. Let's see how it looks on. So good. I'm going to take my finger and then place it here. I usually, you know, I usually use this brush. Yeah, this brush. Um, I always have to correct myself. Blush, brush, brush, blush. Anyway, um, 
I usually use this because it does so good with uh, cream products. But this, oh, this is perfection. It has such a beautiful finish. I'm loving it. You know what? I wonder if this one from Merit would work well with this, with a powder. Oh, I'm sorry, with a cream one. I bet it would. Ooh, so good. I actually love the color of this one a little bit more because it's just a little bit deeper than this one. Let me see if I can build this up just a little bit. I bet I can. Yeah, you can definitely build this up to have the same intensity, but uh, I want to just put the powder on top. Okay, so this is the powder. It still has a glow to it right there. I don't have any highlighter or anything on. And then this is the cream. And they're both just, just stunning. The cream is more blended into the skin for sure. Um, this, I will... I would never say it sits on top of the skin, but you can see it a little bit more. This almost just becomes the one with the skin. Okay, I'm gonna take the cream part and just add this on top. So I'm gonna take this brush with a little bit of the cream. I just love the way this one applies creams. See, I just feel like it melts it in better. There's something about this brush that it's so good. It's better than the Beauty Blender for sure. Let's take the powder and put it on this side. Okay, both are on, both are stunning. This is the powder on top. And then this is the cream on top. Again, so good. I definitely prefer seeing the cream on top. It's it's so, so beautiful, guys. I'm in love. I just realized that I've been wiping this uh, on a black towel. And I had a couple black spots around, but it's all good. All right, guys, this is... Uh, so stunning i wasn't expecting anything else um to my collection these colors are definitely unique and i'm so excited to have them i think um they're just stunning they're intense but you can definitely make them work and then this shade these shades are just absolutely amazing just look look how good that looks uh, i adore it now i did see patrick just like taking a brush and going like this on all of them uh and i'm gonna try that um i know i have a lot on maybe i should calm it down let me use this a little bit to calm the calm it down i just want to see kind of i don't know the color that you could get from this i'm gonna take the fluffy one it's a little dirty but um it'll work i think so let's take all of this okay have all that i'm gonna mix it on my hand and see the color that we can come up with i definitely think that um middle color shows through the most this is still so beautiful. Definitely added way too much here, but easy to fix. I don't know how you do that with cream. I guess you could take the Beauty Blender on each side and just um, work that in. I'm gonna take a little bit of the powder and tone it down, just because obviously we are very, very blushed. And you know it, I will, I will try to take a little bit of each and um, just combine it, kind of a little bit like that. See what we come up with. Well, that's actually really pretty. Take the foundation brush and just tone it down. 
I don't think I've played with so much blush just all at once in forever and I'm loving it. So this is definitely just all of them just combined. The powders, the creams, it's just a whole mixture. Um, so let's talk about my final thoughts. Um, as you can probably tell, I am beyond excited about this palette. It is bright. Uh, so if you're super fair, I don't, I don't know how you can pull this off unless you're extremely careful, which you definitely can be, but it's a very pigmented, very intense. The creams I think anybody can use because they have a softness to it. It blends into the skin and you can build the color slowly. It doesn't have to be that full on pigment. This right here is beyond a doubt my favorite combo. I love it. It is just, it has my heart. I actually really liked the pink as well. I was surprised because I don't tend to go for those kinds of colors, but it's nice to have in your collection something like that, that uh, if you do more of a cool tone look, you can definitely go for something like that. Um, and the middle one's just full on vibrant, corally, intense color, beautiful, but be careful, be careful. Um, again, the creams are out of this world. I just adore the creams. It has, pigment to it it blends in it has luminosity to it but it's not it's not too much so you can definitely work with them no matter what the powder is definitely a little bit more punchy mostly these two colors like just be careful with that i um definitely put a little bit too much here and there but it got fixed they blend in just amazing and i am so so happy with this palette so from what i understand this is limited edition and i just saw that it's sold out i i mean what uh i hope it comes back in stock it better come back in stock that way you guys can enjoy this as well i think the price is amazing um the quality is amazing you get so much product in there just not just programs, just different textures and colors that I think it's well worth the money. And I am loving it. What do you guys think about this palette? Do you love it or is it just way too bright, too out there and it's just not your vibe? For me, I just crave something like this. This definitely is top shelf. I love the formula. And that is all for today. Thank you for being here. Give it a like if you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I'll see you guys then. 